Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a what in my makeup artist kit and for those of you that don't know I have been a makeup artist for about two years now and I do love it. So I wanted to show everyone what is in my kit because I know when I first started out in the industry I was like um what do I put in my kit and these were like my first videos that I watched on YouTube was trying to figure out what the heck do I put in there. So this is just an overview of what my kit looks like. I would say that's a pretty affordable kit. Um, not too many high end things in here and I just want to let you guys know what's popping for all my awesome makeup people that are trying to get out in the industry. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get on into inside the kit the makeup artist kit it comes with this little clear thing right here and then I open it up and I have my towel and then here is the inside of the kit so I don't really keep anything over here but in here I do keep a mirror and that just kind of fits right here on the side but this is for like a sewing machine type thing so it did come with like a divider that went right in the middle but I removed it that way I could stack all of these little mesh bins in here. In this little clear thing I just like to keep hand sanitizer and this is from Bath and Body Works. And then also I keep a couple business cards. It has my face on it, you know, real extra. <laughs> and then also I keep some Tic Tacs right here just to keep, you know, my breath fresh so I'm in people's faces. This is the side of the kit and I'm going to go ahead and open it. The first thing that came with a little pocket is a little like makeup bag and I keep this bag right here just for dirty makeup brushes. So in here I keep wet ones, I have tissues, brow razors, um, a ton of hair clips. I keep these lip glosses and lipsticks that are unused just because sometimes I like to give these to my clients because they don't have anything to retouch up their lip. Going into the second pocket that is also on the side, I'm just going to unzip it. And the first thing I pull out is my black apron. This is the apron that I put on my clients just to make sure that I don't get any makeup on their clothes. And everything that I talk about, I will have listed down below and I'll try to find some links because a lot of them come from Amazon. So if I can find a link to it, I'll link it down below. That way you guys can just like buy it and it's easy for you to find. So the next thing is some e.l.f. makeup wipes. These are my favorite. I always have these like stocked in my kit because they're awesome. Makeup palettes and I use these to put like foundation that I've mixed up or lipstick that needs to be mixed together. And I use these because I'm not the type to put it on the back of my hand. I just feel like that gets a little bit messy and it's just too much going on. So the next thing I have is alcohol. I use alcohol to sanitize like lip liners and eyeliners and things like that. So I keep it in a spray bottle that way it's easier. I have some liquid makeup remover. I have some water. So this is the NYX setting spray, but I have dumped that out and just put regular water in here. And I use this just to like spray on my beauty blenders. Next, I have some facial sprays. So that one on the right is the Mario Badesco facial spray. I use this before and after makeup, depending on how dry or oily the client's skin is. And then on the left is the oil control fixing spray. And this is just awesome. I use this to set the face. At the bottom of that pocket was just a fan right you guys can get like a 12 pack of these fans off amazon i'll try to link it down below in the description box but these are awesome just like to fan your client whenever you're applying their lashes this right here is everything that was inside of the makeup artist kit so as you guys can see the makeup kit holds quite a bit of stuff these mesh bags right here are from amazon they came in a set right here is the towel that i used to put down on my table and to lay out all of my makeup this is a makeup brush belt. I keep all of my makeup brushes in here and then I put them on my waist. Again, this is from Amazon and it's awesome. It holds so many brushes. This right here is what I use to put my makeup brushes in. So what I'll do is I will put my makeup brush belt on and then take out the brushes I need for one client and I'll put them right here. That way, whenever I'm doing someone's face, I can just easily grab from here. This is a toolbox set that I got from Joann's. So I just keep Q-tips, sharpeners. These are lipstick wands and then mascara wands. Also keep cotton wedges and then scissors, lash glue, and more lash glue. So this is kind of like my toolbox thing that I keep on my table whenever I'm doing a face. That way I can just grab from it and it's super, super easy. I would definitely recommend getting something like this as opposed to keeping all this stuff in like a Ziploc bag because, you know, it just gets too hectic and I like having this. That way I can open it up and I can physically see like what's going on. This mesh bag, I keep all of my lashes. I typically get my lashes from ikhouse.com and basically they have every lash that you can think of. They're usually all a dollar so you can easily just go to your local hair store and buy them in like bulk and so it's really all trial and error and you just have to figure out 
what kind of lashes your clients like and then always keep those stocked in your kit. In here is what I keep all of my eye makeups. This right here is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Excuse me, it's dirty, but you know, this is real life. This is, this is what it is, I'm sorry. But this right here is the Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I keep this in my kit because it literally has every transition shade, every kind of deep color that I need to blend out an eyeshadow. We just place eyeshadow palettes because they are the best. So I keep the Masquerade Palette, the Nubian 2 Palette, and then also the new Saharan Palette. So these three right here are awesome palettes. They have some colorful shades in here and just like all around good palettes that have awesome pigmentation. So I have to keep these in my kit. And lastly is the Lorac Mega 3 palette. So this right here I keep in my palette because this is kind of like my wedding palette. So like all up in here are just shades that I use for weddings and like obviously this color right here is like the number one wedding eyeshadow. <laughs> so I keep this in here just because it has a lot of matte shades and also some really really soft shimmer shades that a lot of people want for like everyday looks. So in this little pouch right here I keep a lot of glitters. So it has like a bunch of loose glitters that I found at like the craft store and then also there's some cosmetics glitters in here glitters can be found anywhere um, I definitely went and spend a lot of money on glitters because a glitter is a glitter no matter if you get it from Joann's or you get it from Sephora okay so I keep glitters in here and then also like some glitter liners and then this is a NYX glitter adhesive so that I can attach the glitter to the eye back brow pencil and this one is in the shade stud I keep a lot of NYX eyebrow gels and then these right here are the elf eyebrow gels they're pretty good they're pigmented I love them um, I keep some L'Oreal mascara because this is my favorite it's super super black and it's just awesome gel liner and this right here is from Maybelline this is their eye studio it is the blackish drugstore gel liner in the world liquid liner you can't really use because of sanitation purposes so I keep like a pot of gel liner like this that way I can dispense it onto the back of my hand or onto a makeup palette and use it on one of my clients the last thing in this mesh bag is the black opal full coverage concealers these are awesome i have the shade kalahari sand and then truly topaz so i use these to carve out the brow and then also prep for eyeshadow so depending on the skin tone i can use this for medium to dark skin tones and this for light to medium skin tones and these two bags right here are my face bag so this is where i keep all of foundations powders anything like that and this right here is where i keep all of my glass foundation so i keep this little towel in here just because i don't want anything cracking because nobody has time for that so as you guys can tell i use maybelline fit me oh these are literally the best foundations they're only 5.99 and you can literally buy every single color so I have about every other color I have um, three shades that I use for light to medium skin tones and then I have about five shades for medium to dark skin tones. so I do not have every color just because I find that I can mix and match and get the desired color that I need and then also in here I have some black opal true color foundation um, this foundation is really good as well. Um, it is a little bit more expensive than the Maybelline Fit Me, but it's just as good and it's a pretty good coverage as well. Also in here, I keep the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I love this foundation right here, but I do not like the color range they have for darker skin tones I just feel like the darker you go the orange and grayer they go but I do keep these two colors in here for my lighter skin tones just because I really do like the finish of this foundation when I go to highlight someone I always just use a lighter foundation so I don't keep concealer in my kit I just like to use foundation as that just because that's kind of my technique and I just like it that way but if I had to recommend a really good concealer to have in your kit I would recommend the LA Girl Pro Concealer Moving on to this mesh bag, in here I have the Makeup Geek Highlighting Palette. This is the collaboration with Kathleen Lights and it comes with three different highlighters. That's why I like it. So I would definitely recommend like an ABH Glow Kit or something where you get multiple shades, not just one highlighter. And then also for highlighter, I definitely keep the L'Oreal Gilded Honey Highlighter in here. This right here is everything. If you want that wet glow that I give for like brides and things like that, you want this in your kit. It's awesome and it's amazing for like mature skin tones. That way you do not like highlight any wrinkles or any texture on their face. You wanna go with something like this because it's just bomb.com.
So for blush, I use the e.l.f. Cosmetics blush palettes. Now this one is a combination of the light and dark one. So what I did was take the matte shades out of the light one and the matte shades out of the dark one and pop them into this one. So this is an awesome steal. I mean $4 for a palette. For contouring, I found these two contour palettes on Amazon. They were about $12 each. And as you can see, you get six shades in each palette and they're awesome. Like this thing right here is super dark. This is super dark. Color correcting is not always necessary. But if you do need to color correct, I would definitely recommend the LA Girl Pro Concealers for that. They have a green one and a yellow one and they're like $2.99 at the hair store girl and they're bomb. These right here are the black opal cream foundations that I have melted down and applied them into a MAC palette cream foundation palette. This is the Graftobin palette and this one is the neutral one I think. I'll have a link down below but this is really good as well. Obviously I've used this palette a lot. I mean you can see the indentions right here and then I've used this palette a lot too. However you only need a little bit of the graft open palette so if you're really good at mixing and you know what you're doing i would definitely just recommend investing into the graft open palettes because you literally need like a dime piece of this stuff and then you're good to go for a full face of makeup so for setting powder i typically use the laura mercier setting powder on everyone i do have the rcma powder and like the la girl pro powder but i definitely just always go back to this one it's just awesome and it works for multiple skin tones. If the person is pretty oily, I like to go in with the Becca Matte Primer. This right here is awesome. This is the travel size. Um, the actual one is about $58, I think. It's pretty expensive, but this one is only like 15 and I mean, this will last you just as long. It's really good. And then for moisturizer, depending on the client's skin, I like to use the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Again, sorry it's dirty, but you know, this is real life. So those are the two things that I use to prep a client's face. Lastly, in this mesh bag, I have face powders. So these are the Urban Decay face powders. These are the Jordana Forever Flawless face powders. And then these are two of the MAC Studio Fix face powders. After I go in with liquid products, I like to go in with face powders just because it's going to intensify everything that I just did. So I like to keep face powders in my kit because I'm adding back color. And it's just a good way to just make sure that your makeup looks flawless. If you're first starting out, I would definitely recommend the Jordana ones because these are bomb and they will get you what you need for only a dollar girl. All right, guys, so we're almost done. I don't know why I'm like out of breath because <laughs> I've been talking so much. But anyways, this right here is the last bag that we're gonna go through and this is my lip bag. So I have talked about this pink digger social media lip palette before it is awesome if you're a makeup artist you need these they are kind of pricey but like you literally need the smallest amount to get full coverage pigmentation i also keep some vaseline because you know you know some people's lips be kind of crusty so you just want to make sure you keep vaseline or lip balm or something like that to make sure that our lips are nice and good so then i have some lip liners i keep everything rolled up with rubber bands just because it's easier for me to grab and it's just if this was all out with no rubber bands it would just make me stress out so I keep them with rubber bands and I have a, quite a few lip liners just some brown ones some burgundy ones some red ones and then some pink ones I definitely only really use liquid lipstick so I keep the liquid lipsticks here and then I have a few glosses this is a clear gloss so that I can make any liquid lipstick clear and then this right here is um, Anastasia's Gilded, which is like my baby. I use this on almost every single liquid lipstick just because it really gives that metallic look, but it's awesome. So all of these right here are liquid lipsticks. I have like some fun colors right here. Pink ones, purple ones, red ones, nudie, and then kinds of like light pinks right here. When it comes to lip products, it's really just personal choice and what you're comfortable with with putting on your client. So that's all, nothing really special when it comes to lip products.